All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of February the 6th, 2023. Brian and Michaela with you. And Michaela, we have turned the page. It is now February. Uh, we are in the home stretch. Uh, I think like 42 days now until uh, Oscars. Maybe not even uh, quite that many, but how are you doing? How is the watch coming along? <laughs> that good, that good. Well, yeah, I think I got like 31 left to watch. Uh Okay. Uh, I will say so. Uh, for those of those the, those kids at home who are who are taking stock, there are fifty five movies, fifty four movies this this year that have been nominated, and uh, and some are real good. I did finish <laughs> watching. Uh, Hopefully, most couple, are real good. The, there is one. Yeah, that's not. We'll there talk is about one, that, and but. yeah, yeah, mm, uh, yeah. I I don't know. There's always there's I feel like there's always one film out there that you watch and you're like, I understand why it got nominated for this this thing, whatever it is. It's usually not best picture. It's something else. And you're like, I get that and I can appreciate that. But everything else about the film just irks you and bothers you and you don't like. And and I think this might be the one of the first times in Oscar history where something has been literally up for a Raspberry Award as like one of the worst pictures mm. of the year and he is mm-hmm. still up for an Oscar. I, I find that interesting. Um, and I happen to agree. I think, uh, yeah, it's a tough, tough, tough time. That's right. Yeah, that was quite that was quite the uh, teaser there. We'll uh, get into more of that as we uh, get to our Oscar coverage as we get closer to the uh, actual day itself. But yeah, we are making our way through our our watch list. We are uh, trying to get out to the theater and catch a couple of things. We have all of the shorts are coming to our uh, little local independent uh, picture house. So hopefully we're going to make it up there to see the shorts, which are way too long to be considered shorts, um, in my humble opinion. But, uh, you know, it's not been all sunshine and roses getting these watched uh, because normally I I would watch a movie like Sunday night. Sunday night, I would put on a movie. I would say, let's uh, knock one of these uh, Oscar films off the list. But now on Sunday night, Michaela, I've just been making cocktails and watching The Last of Us. Uh, It's my favorite video game. Well, it's one of my favorite video games. It's one of my favorite stories of all time. And now it's maybe one of my favorite shows of all time. And it's I'm making a cocktail for it every week. And that's great. I think that is awesome. Um, for those of us that are not on, uh, for anybody that's not on our Patreon site, um, it's like a dollar or two a month and you get so much extra content. And one of the things that we keep talking about is doing kind of a, a drink the series. And one of the things that I love is on Sundays, uh, you send me a message saying, here's the, here's the drink the series version, episode number three of last of us um i remember you telling me about this when it came out i am not a video game person so i was completely clueless as to what this was looked it up thought it was uh definitely going to be amazing because of the actors and the in the content of it um and i have to say it's pretty great so if you've not watched uh this uh last of us it's on hbo and you can stream it there and we're only four episodes in and i gotta say if you're not if you're on the fence after the first episode just watch two more at the end of episode three if you don't love this show then something is very wrong and i'm not saying it's wrong with you but i'm kind of saying it's wrong with you so um yeah (laughs) yeah uh yeah yeah, I've uh, I've been looking forward to this a long time, so I wanted to go out and uh, mix up some cocktails kind of based uh, loosely on the uh, previous week's show. So we've done four uh, so far, so pretty excited about these. If you follow us on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, I've been posting them there, um, and then also on Discord, posting them there, and then uh, chatting about them a little bit. But uh, I do, I've done uh, two of them now have been riffs on The Last Word. Um, I did one of those the first week. Um, instead of The Last Word, it was The Last of Us, where I just swapped out the gin for some mezcal. Uh, so it's equal parts here. It's uh, mezcal, chartreuse, luxardo, and lime juice. Um, and then I also did another riff on The Last Word, uh, because The Last Word is a really uh, famous cocktail from Detroit, just like one of the characters in the show, uh, Tess. Uh, so I had to pay homage to her. Now, a little bit about The Last Word cocktail. Uh, we actually know exactly when it started. Most of the times, these cocktails, it's uh, kind of shrouded in mystery and hearsay and, and you know, uh, some stories stories you get told and this came from here or no I heard it came from over here uh but the last word we know came from the Detroit Athletic Club in 1915 um and like I said it's equal parts of all those things gin uh green chartreuse maraschino liqueur and lime juice and it is dead simple uh and dead delicious and for the uh, test version of the cocktail I actually made just the standard last word but I uh missed it over some 
lavender bitters uh, to give it this kind of aromatic uh, beautifulness uh, because, you know, kind of in the in the dark depths of this last word cocktail of that green chartreuse and the and the gin, there's still something uh, beautiful um, and disarming about it, uh, just like the show. And I like that a lot. So uh, those are two of the ones I've done so far. We did a Firefly cocktail. Um, and then this past week, I did a kind of a mocktail uh, riff on a red wine where I made some uh, strawberry uh, syrup uh, in homage to uh, Bill and Frank. So that was, uh, you know, coming out of the third episode. So a lot of really fun stuff over on there. Uh, any of these catch your eye, Michaela? I know I'm not I'm not making these with you. I'm just Sunday night. I'm uh, whipping up whatever comes into my heart. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling lonely about it. Um, No, I, they all look amazing. I have to say, uh, I bought the ingredients myself to make that strawberry grape syrup that uh that you posted about so that i could make my own version of a of a cure royale i guess and mm -hmm. um yeah i'm super excited about that i i really love that a show and we talked about really digging into a bunch of different series and talking about it this way but i really love that each episodes of the of the show that we've seen could really get us thinking about so much more um in terms of life and um, relationships and, you know, we're, we're not quite in this po post-apocalyptic world yet. Uh, and I stress yet, but I really like that um, you've been able to really make those connections and bring about some really amazing, amazing, tasty concoctions. So uh, a little jealous that I'm not, that I'm, <laughs> that I'm not right next to, uh, to you watch uh, drinking these because some of them look really good, but you know, just like all the listeners at home, I get to make them myself because you leave great instructions for everybody <laughs> on the Discord. So if you're not on the Discord and you want to know how to make all these, that, now's your time. Yeah, absolutely. Go uh, go check out the Discord and make sure you're following us on social media. I'm going to keep posting those. And like Michaela said, maybe we'll do uh, an end of season uh, recap over on our Patreon or something like that. But, uh, you know, it's not all time for watching The Last of Us. There are Oscar movies to be watched and movies at the theater to be watched because we still got some new releases coming out. Um, and this weekend, finally, Avatar uh, makes its way out of first place to uh, allow in some new stuff. Knock at the cabin uh, with $14 million leads the way, uh, followed by 80 for Brady. Uh, Avatar still makes $10 million dollars this week uh put some boots and bts yet to come in cinemas uh with uh six just over six million dollars so uh knock at the cabin michaela we talked a little bit about it uh last week when it was coming out uh m night Shyamalan. it's uh shamalani e e uh i guess uh i've heard the reviews are pretty good on it um so yeah. uh, it could, could be something interesting to see we're gonna have to carve out some time i think to go uh check out knock at the cabin before uh you know we've got kind of a, a lighter week this week um, you know, before we're back into the Marvel madness of it all, but right. knock at the cabin, pretty good, pretty good results. Yeah. And, you know, anytime you get a ha ahead of uh, Avatar, that's pretty good. What I'm liking is that we are seeing a little bit of flavor around uh, Batista. Um, and he's got a, a different, he, he's not just Drax at a cabin, which is nice. Uh, mm. So that's, that's cool because I, I think a lot could be in store for him as an actor. I think that would be really and that that's good to see. So yeah, I, I definitely think we might actually have to put a pause on the Oscar buzz uh, to go and go and check out Knock at the Cabin before we definitely put a pause uh, on the Oscar buzz to go check out Ant Man two, Ant -Man, three, Ant Man and the Wasp, the Quantum Mania, Quantum Mania. Uh, I it's, keep it's, saying Quadrophenia. It's it's, it's Quantum Tastic, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, we've seen the uh, trailers for that. Uh, spoiler warning: We're going to be talking about it uh, on the main show. Is the plan uh, anyway when that comes out in a couple weeks? But uh, you know, uh, that's not for a couple weeks. We do have some things coming out this week, and the first uh, thing up is going to be a Consecration. Um, it's another kind of uh, like horror story. Uh, you know, some religious undertones uh, to it. Uh, this is you know another one of these. We've seen a couple of these come out in the last. A few months. Uh, what about this one? Any anything uh, strike your eye about this? Uh, it looks it looks like it's uh, set in uh, Scotland, so that's always good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's got a lot of it's it's consecration, right? So, and if it's in Scotland, it makes sense. It's very uh, it's going to be very Catholic. There's a lot of the the um, the artwork around this film is um, there's like a snake that's like going around a gaelic looking cross i don't know um i definitely am interested in it because anything where they're like hey a, a you know the, the, something's not all right with the devil and church thing 
I, I love those kind of, uh, mm -hmm. I love those kind of horror films. Um, although it, I don't know, we'll see. I, I it, it's, I'm probably not going to get to the theater to see this one. Um, <laughs> oh, good on. thing is it, it is it is an appropriate an amount of time. This is only an hour and 30 fi minute film. So when it comes yeah. out on video, I will be able to see it uh, on a Tuesday night or something with, when my kid is asleep. I love that. Thank you for yeah. not making a three hour film. There you go. An hour and 30 minutes is approximately the runtime of the credits for uh, Avatar The Way of Water. Um, and Avatar The Way of Water, um, it is just about ready to pass into third uh, place all time, passing Titanic. But guess what else is coming to the movie theater this week, Michaela? That is Titanic. It is the 25th anniversary. Uh, very excited for this. Titanic is coming back with its 11 Oscar wins. Uh, Kate and Leo are going to be back to fill our hearts with love just in time for Valentine's Day. Uh, James Cameron's going to be making million dollars in a left hand, right hand, uh, all the hands. He's going to be making all the money uh, again this weekend. So Titanic, 25 years, Michaela. That's exciting. That is exciting. Um, it brings me right back to being, you know, 16, 17 years old when every girl in the planet was like, Leo. And that scene where they're like over the bridge or over the end of the boat. Oh, so good. So I think we might have to cover this. Yeah, as we, an homage 25 years i mean that's we, a big that's a big we deal might we might have to 25 years and 11 oscars is kind of a big deal so we might be covering that but next week we are covering uh one that has some oscar hopes michaela that is uh guillermo del toro's pinocchio uh we watched that we're going to be covering that we have a really really good cocktail uh coming your way for that one so you're going to want to make sure you check into the main show um and if you are wanting to support the podcast in other ways you can join us on patreon it's patreon.com slash drink the movies uh we've started doing our Oscar Best Picture nominee, a uh, little mini episode recap uh, kind of things. We've got the first two outs talking about Elvis and Top Gun. Uh, look for all 10 of those to come out here as we make our way um, into Oscar time and keep an eye on our social media as we get closer here. We're going to get our Oscar uh, kind of prize package, uh, you pick them, uh, giveaway thing sorted. So keep an eye on the social medias for more information on that. But uh, Michaela, you mentioned you have a, a little bit uh, north of 30 movies. So why don't we do this? Let's uh, go mix up another Last of Us cocktail. Cocktail. I will share the secrets of uh, how to make all of these with you. We can uh, give a toast to Joel and Ellie, and we'll dig into those 30 movies. And I guess we'll talk to everyone next time in the lobby bar. <laughs>